Hey YouTube, uh, I want to have a little conversation with you guys about macro hoarding. Um, if you guys are familiar with if it fits your macros, you have to track your fats, your carbs, and your proteins. Uh, some track their fiber also. Uh, but what it is, what macro hoarding is, is it's basically saving one of those three for a meal later on. Um, some go to the extreme of doing uh, intermediate fasting and they don't eat all day and uh, they have a large meal later on and that works for them because you know you're still eating at your deficit and you'll still drop your weight or whatever your goal is uh, gaining weight um, my opinion on it would have to be uh, you know I'm guilty of it also uh, when I first started out you know I'll, what I was doing was saving uh, a lot of my fats. I, I was eating a lot of fat-free stuff. I was eating a lot of pretzels, um, fat-free cheese, uh, staying really lean on my meats. And then later at night, I would have you know my bowl of ice cream or uh, yummy yogurt, those kind of things. And it, it seemed to work for me, but also with my training, uh, because I wasn't, uh, I was having to also save you know my carbs for that also. So uh, I wasn't eating enough before I was training and that's something that I really picked up uh, that I need to change um, so going into this prep uh, I haven't been hoarding at all I've been really spacing out my meals I've been making uh, them a lot more solid uh, the only exception would be right before I drink you know that's when I do eat a little bit more carbs uh, just so I can have enough energy to uh, finish the workout and have a, a successful day in the gym you know I'd like to know your guys opinions on it do you guys do it are you guilty of it um, do you have any experience with it uh, let me know in the comments uh, all right hey guys so what I'm gonna be talking about right now is uh, some of my recovery and warm-up for my squats and keeping my knees healthy um, what it is is voodoo flossing what voodoo flossing basically is is a myofascial release or an ease of the tension um, around your tendons or like trigger point areas. Uh, I'm gonna be using these bands. Uh, I got them off Amazon. Uh, there's that on Rogue Fitness. Uh, you can even use um, a bicycle tire. The inner tube, you can cut it and uh, just wrap that. It's basically just rubber. Uh, so you don't need to spend the big money on it. You can go to the you know, Target, Walmart, whatever you need to go to. Uh, my coach put me onto this, uh, Zach Trahan. Uh, I was having a little bit of knee issues, knee tightness, and he suggested doing it, and it's been helping a lot, so I think it might help you guys. So if you have knee issues, knee, like, cracking, um, try this out, see if it works.
Hey guys, so for the first recipe, what I'm going to do is a peanut butter stuffed French toast. It's really easy, it's quick, it's a nice snack to fill in uh, the rest of your macros if you're short. Um, true story. The reason I came up with this was I was short uh, coming to the end of the night, came into the kitchen, and all I had left was one egg and two pieces of bread. So out of necessity, you know, I made some French toast and filled in the rest of my needs. Uh, to my IG followers that commented, uh, Sandra and Renee, uh, I, I'll get to the burgers and I'll get to uh, the bacon wrap chicken. Uh, this is just going to be the first one to try it out. So I hope you guys enjoy the French toast. 